Hi, and welcome to Horror Recapped. Today, we'll be examining 2011's The Thing. Beware, spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with three grown men in a moving snowcat in the winter of 1982. They track a signal using a device and reach the point where the signal is at its peak. They stop the snowcat and know that they are directly above what they are searching for. The ice breaks and the snowcat falls into a massive hole. They are barely kept alive, surviving by the walls of the ice which hold the snowcat in one piece. In the next scene, we see a female paleontologist named Kate Lloyd. Kate is studying the body of an extinct creature. She is briefly interrupted by the security guard, who informs her that she has a visitor. Kate is then joined by Adam Finch. They have a short conversation and are both joined by Dr. Sander Halverson, Adam's boss. Dr. Sander approaches Kate and proposes a job to her. She demands to know the details of the job before accepting. After a very short briefing by Dr. Sander, Kate agrees to the job. Kate is transported in a helicopter with pilots, Sam Carter and Derek Jameson, and crewman Griggs, along with Adam who is seated opposite her. One of the pilots warns her about the coming storm, and she wouldn't want to be stranded with a bunch of men. They arrive at their destination, where they meet with a station chief named Edward Wolner, together with his crew consisting of Juliet, Carl, Jonas, Henrik, Colin, Peter, Lars, and Lars's dog. They are welcomed and immediately taken to the site of operation. Kate is amazed to find an alien spacecraft buried deep in the ice. Edford takes them to the next place where they find an alien body buried deep in the ice by members of the Norwegian research station. Kate is introduced to the team and together they hatch a plan on how to harvest the alien's body. The body is successfully harvested in a block of ice and taken to the station. They drill a tiny hole into the block of ice, harvesting part of the alien. Later that night, as they party, celebrating their achievement, the block of ice begins to crack. Jameson comes out of the toilet and heads to the party, but is stopped by a faint sound. Slowly, he walks towards the room occupied by the ice block. He briefly observes it but then turns to head back to the party. Suddenly, the alien breaks out of the ice, leaving the building by breaking through the roof. Jameson rushes to alert everyone, who refuse to believe him initially. He is relentless, and together they gather to confirm. They are all in shock. Dr. Sander sends everyone out in search of the alien. They all dress for the weather, leaving in groups of not less than two. They soon discover Lars's dog to be dead, with blood all around its kennel. Olav and Henrik find the alien, and Henrik is attacked. It launches its tongue, and it passes through Henrik's body, enabling the alien to drag him towards itself, while splattering blood on Olav in the process. Frightened, Olav screams for help. The others hear him and rush to his aid. He tells them the alien killed Henrik. They are quick to shoot the alien, trying to kill it before anything else goes wrong. It survives and tries to escape. They use a flamethrower to burn it and it dies. They mourn the death of Henrik in silence. Dr. Sander decides to do an autopsy on the alien. With the help of Kate, he opens the stomach of the alien. He finds a sack which he proceeds to cut open. Inside finds Henrik's head and upper body. Kate is thrown into confusion when the tissues on the dead Henrik's face appear new. She decides to experiment to find out what was truly happening. She discovers that the alien was absorbing Henrik and copying his DNA. Olaf falls ill and he is about to be transported to the hospital with Carter, Jameson, and Griggs. They take off in the helicopter to a medical facility. Meanwhile, Kate goes to the bathroom and sees a large amount of blood in the shower. She also finds dental fillings. Kate realizes something was wrong. She rushes outside to wave the helicopter before it leaves. While trying to land the helicopter, Olaf sees Griggs transform into an alien and attacks him. This makes the movements of the helicopter unpredictable. 
It crashes into the mountains, far away from the station. The rest of the group is gathered in one place at the station. As Kate reveals to them her discovery, the aliens can imitate their victims. She adds that she also believes that the alien was now living amongst them. The group is thrown into confusion, and Edvard thinks it's time to leave. He orders them to move to the closest base for safety. Kate disagrees with this, and tries to stop them with the help of Juliet, who tells her that she saw Lars come out of the toilet with a kind of rag or towel. Juliet and Kate devise a plan to stop the team by hiding the keys to the snowcats. Juliet takes Kate to an isolated room where she tells her the keys are hidden. Kate turns her back and Juliet transforms into an alien. Kate is quick to take notice of this and is able to escape. Unfortunately, Carl is caught and killed. Lars rushes in and burns the transformed Juliet, which kills her. Kate purposes a quarantine until the issue is resolved, and they decide to take a blood test to determine who has been infected. Later that night, the pilots of the helicopter, Carter and Jameson, return to the station. As they survived the crash, the team suspects their aliens and decides to isolate them. The lab is destroyed and a blood test is no longer an option, so Kate comes up with a plan to check the dental fillings of everyone. Since the aliens couldn't copy inorganic material, Dr. Sander, Edvard, Colin, and Adam are assumed to be infected after Kate checks their mouth for dental fillings. Lars is soon after taken captive by Carter and Jameson. Carter and Jameson break into the building, and Carter shoots the flamethrower tank. It begins to leak and ignites, causing an explosion. Edvard is caught in the accident and is knocked unconscious. Jonas carries the unconscious Edvard into the main room. Edvard transforms into an alien and infects Jonas. He also infects Jameson and attacks Adam. Kate rushes and grabs a flamethrower. She tries to burn Edvard but he escapes after merging with Adam's body. Kate burns Jonas and Jameson to prevent them from transforming. Carter and Kate take an axe and flamethrower to chase the Thing in an attempt to kill it. Kate is able to burn Edvard Thing just before it attacks Carter. Sander drives off in a snowcat in the night. Kate persuades Carter to chase after him. They chase Sander and the alien spacecraft activates. Kate falls and is separated from Carter. She encounters Sander who then transforms and tries to attack her. Sander uses his tongue to drag Kate out of her hiding spot. Kate throws a grenade into Sander's mouth and he explodes. The explosion shuts down the spacecraft's engine. She meets with Carter and notices that Carter is missing his earring. She believes it's a sign that he was now transformed into the Thing. The only choice is then for Kate to burn the Carter Thing. She then takes the second snowcat and leaves in the middle of the night. That's gonna wrap up this recap. We hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please click the subscribe button with notifications turned on so you don't miss a single video.